For this video, I'm going to explain how to create a brand new selection on your FastCorp Divi Evolution 2 or Evolution vendors. Common question, anytime somebody gets a new machine, they've got to program it. And the place you go to program it is menu 4, Create Selection. If you've started back at Change Price, when you open your door, once you've unlocked the keypad with the VAC button, you use the star key to scroll to menu four. Now, it's important to note before you program the machine, <clears throat> excuse me, you do need to have bins in your freezer to hold your product. You do need to know what bin your product is going to go into. And you do need to have your selection cards on the front of your machine so that you know if A1 is that ice cream sandwich, and then in the freezer, you need to know which bin it is. If you don't have all that in place, you're gonna go into this menu and it's the routine is gonna start asking you questions you won't have the answers to. And then it's gonna time out and you're just gonna get frustrated. So, or even if you don't have your cards in place, make a little sketch, uh, same with your bins. Uh, scrap a notebook paper, just make a little drawing of how things are gonna be laid out do yourself that favor because otherwise this is going to just get frustrating whereas it's actually a very simple menu driven routine so menu 4 create selection press the pound key to enter the menu first thing it wants to know is what selection are you programming so I always start at the beginning a1 now it says okay how much are you gonna sell a1 for I'm gonna pick two dollars just punch it in with the inside customer keypad. Yes, I want to accept two dollars. Press the pound key again. Now, product height, two inches. Well, this is an ice cream sandwich in my example, and typically they're about uh, an inch when they're laying flat. This just helps the computer board calculate the bottom of the bin. So I'm gonna use the star key to change it to one inch, and I'm gonna save that. Now, it's gonna open the freezer for me now okay and it's gonna ask me where is that product now this uh, demonstration machine has some product in here some sample products so I've thrown a few bins in just to kind of show you the easiest way to program the bin is to move the robot by hand if you you can use the shoulder and elbow buttons but most people find that a lot harder this is the easy way to do it so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna place the robot roughly where I think it is over the bin. The bins I put in here are on the right half of our freezer and as a general rule of thumb, if you're programming something on the right half of the freezer, you wanna place this elbow joint to your left and do the opposite on the other side. So I'm gonna program this bin right here. I'm gonna move this roughly where I think is the appropriate position and then I'm gonna come back over to the service keypad and I'm gonna press the down key several times to lower the hose because it's a lot easier to get lined up once the hose is down in the bin rather than trying to eye it from a couple feet higher. So again, I'm just gonna take the robot like this and I'm gonna move it till it's pretty well centered on the bin. Most products, there's a few exceptions, but the rule of thumb is you're gonna set it up for the center of the bin. The up-down height here doesn't matter. It's just an aid to help you get centered over the bin. Once I have that there, I'm gonna go back to the keypad and press the pound key to save the position. The arm is gonna retract the hose for you automatically. You don't need to bring it back up. Once that's done, it's now gonna come over and ask you bin height, short uh, or tall. So these bins in this freezer are on the right side and they're the shorter ones uh, that are only about 15 inches. The taller ones are about 24 inches. And so you need to tell it which one. This is where the compressor step is in this freezer. It's on the right side. You don't ever want to have a short bin programmed as a tall bin because the robot is going to drop the hose too far into the bin and try to grab the bottom of the bin. So you want to make sure you get it right. Now, if this were a uh, tall bin, I would use the star key here to change it to tall. Uh, but this is a short bin, so I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to say uh, to accept that with the pound key. Now it says more bins. This does not mean, hey, are you going to program some more bins today? No, it does not mean that. This means 
Hey, are you planning to sell hundreds and hundreds of those ice cream sandwiches and you want to have a second bin that it will vend out of when the first bin associated with A1 sells out? That's what we call chain bins. So if you want to have three bins with the same product that is going to be the same selection, in this case A1, same price, everything, you'd say yes here. For my example, we're going to say no, hit the star key. It's going to then bring the robot back to the delivery position and it's going to close the freezer lid back down and that completes creating your first selection. You simply repeat the process 